All right, friends, this video is not going to make a lot of sense unless you actually watch the previous video that I did about installing this VFD. But today, after using this thing for a number of years, actually, a couple of years, I guess, I am going to correct a wiring wrong in here that was pointed out by a uh, viewer, Larry, Larry Hooker on the other video i am going to go in there and tie off some wires i don't know for sure that it makes a difference but i'm going to try it and uh, hopefully there's no sparks and smoke when i'm done and flip everything on we will find out we will go for broke and if it breaks well then i guess we're yeah hopefully it works right all right, if you wanted to watch me unscrew the screws and take the top off and take this off, uh, you missed it because I just went ahead and did it. I wanted to get right at the wires here that I missed, potentially, maybe, I don't know. Um, wires four, five, and six. So because I have this set up as the low voltage setup, where is that thing anyway? It's up here, okay. The low voltage setup, High voltage, low voltage, right? What isn't apparently clear to me in my bad eyes, and now that I look at it, it is, there's a little link between four, five, and six wires that need to be connected together. Now, for some reason, I didn't see this, and even re-watching my own video, it didn't really look like it was there, but I see it now. And so I'm, I'm trying to zoom in with my flashlight on here. Okay. So four, five, and six should be tied together. And Larry pointed this out in the comments. Now I've been running this thing and I've never had an issue. Zoom. I mean, focus. I've never had an issue with power or anything. But if I could get more power out of it by tying these two things together, why not, right? So, or if there's some lack of winding use in this, why not do this? So I'm going to try this. Okay, you really don't want to sit here watching me struggle with one hand holding the camera and one hand taking these off, do you? All right, so I'm going to put my cover back on. You really don't want to see me screw the screws in, do you? Okay. All the covers are back in place, all the wire nuts are on, all the black tape has been applied, so let us turn on the magic lever and see what happens. Zero. Zeros are good when things are stopped. Let's just uh, turn it about in the middle here and press the forward button. Oh, look at that. It goes forward. Press the reverse button. Oh, look at that. It goes in reverse. Check it out. And all these are the same. Of course, just my toggle switch. Forward and reverse there. Um, let's see here. So you can, of course, scroll through these uh, various set it, or things on here. That one there is the, uh, the Hertz. And see what do we got here we got display and the rpms i guess of the motor right um the hertzers and the amps now i didn't look at this before i uh did this so i don't know i really don't know you know you got all this stuff in here that i don't know about and uh we'll just get land back on the hertz there Whatever I can say is that it works. And I think for my low voltage setting, it was correct to tie this four, five, and six together, the ones that are showing on the top there. Of course, if you do the high voltage setting or whatever it is that you do, you have to figure it out for yourself because I am not an electronics expert and I'm not telling you what to do by no stretch. This is just my entertainment to you. Anyway, um, I do thank uh, Mr. Larry for his comment and uh, his constructive comment because that helped me out. 
and um, I will leave links to a couple things in the description talking about this. On the other video, Larry left a link on there as well, and I'll just put it in this uh, video description also. So, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you around on another video.